What's up everybody, Pete Burak here. Happy Holy Thursday. We've made it to the end of Lent, congratulations. And if you're like me, you're ready for uh, something to celebrate. You're ready for Jesus to go through his, his passion. Well, oh, first today, uh, bring us the gift of the Eucharist, his very body and blood, soul and divinity is what we celebrate today. And what's interesting about today is uh, we celebrate Holy Communion, right? The installation of the priesthood, the installation of this incredible sacrament that unites us with the Lord, uh, the bread of life, food for the journey, as it were. And yet, we celebrate it in many ways in isolation, separate from each other. It's Holy Communion. It's the one table, the one bread, the one body that we all come to eat. And this year, we are in many places not together. Uh, and, you know, the whole role of the devil, one of the things that the devil is called is the great divider, right? He wants to bring division. And if you, you could look at it one way and say, wow, look at, look at how well he's accomplished this, that the body of Christ is splintered in so many different places, that the Holy Communion that we are accustomed to celebrating today is not going to happen in the way that it has normally. That's one way to look at it. The other way to look at it is the Lord creating an environment to bless us in a totally unexpected way. You know, I, I look forward to the Triduum every year. I, you know, there's certain beats and rhythms that I look forward to. I love doing the Easter egg hunt with the kids. I love uh, the readings, both at for Easter Sunday and certainly the Easter Vigil. The, the journey with Jesus on Good Friday is a very special time for me. I look forward to the Masters every year. I love watching uh, the Masters, especially with my parents and, and uh, you know, celebrating the beginning of spring. And this year, right, that's not happening. All those things aren't happening. And what I felt like the Lord put on my heart for all of you today and for myself is while it may look like we are divided, while it may look like uh, things are not going the way they should, and we could be lamenting and mourning uh, the changes that we have to go through, and, and some of them are very real, and some of the sufferings are incredibly real. I felt like the Lord said, I want to surprise you, this Triduum. I want to surprise you with how much grace and much blessing is possible, even in the unexpected ways. So my, my encouragement to you is simply let yourself be surprised. So much of what's normal about this weekend is not going to happen. And certainly that is a burden, but that's also an opportunity to say, Lord, surprise me. What grace do you have? What blessings do you have? What new ways to shower your love upon us are you going to reveal over the next couple days? So let yourself be surprised. Come into this weekend with no expectations other than that Jesus will die, he will rise, and his grace is enough for us that he loves us, that he's present to us, and that he wants to surprise us. God bless you. Happy Holy Thursday.